Hi guys, um, this is sort of a video response to uh, Cameron, uh, Mr. Hex. Basically, it's, a, it's a, another Magic the Gathering deck. Uh, when I first started, I did green and then I did a white deck. And this is my green deck. There's a few cards in there that are probably the same as when I first bought the deck, which is probably just the lands. Um, but it is probably my baby deck purely because um, at one time out of the, the three guys, the two guys I play with, um, me mate Big Man and Stu, I had the best green deck. Then the buggers overpowered me so I had to uh, retweak my green and now I think it's it's very good. Um, right, we'll start for the bog standard. We have 18 land, basic land there. Then we have a uh, treetop village. I'm just going to turn the light on so you can see. Ooh, I don't know if that's any better. Right, treetop village. I'm not going to read what they do because if you really want to know, you can research it. But this is probably going to be like the deck that I'll be using against Cameron. Um, Len Lena War Reborn. Another land. So that's the land sorted. Bish bash bosh. Um, now we'll, we'll go into the enchantments, instants, and sorceries. Now these are bad boys. £15 each. I've got two. Defence of the Heart. Fantastic card for green. Um, sliver decks. Brilliant sliver decks. Anything like that. Absolutely fantastic. Like I say, £30 them two cards. But so worth it. Uh, next we have uh, two naturalizers. Two of them bad boys. Uh, Rise of Flourishing. It's basically like a holy mine, but you can lay an extra land down as well each turn. Everyone. But it's a fantastic card. Uh, Law. Surprised I've only got one of these in here. Thought I might have had more. Uh, two overgrowths, one shiny, one not. Uh, Hell of the Night Pack, fantastic cards, two of them. Uh, Blanchwood Armor, two of them, again, a nice card. And uh, of course, every green deck's got to have an overrun. I have two. Now, these are quite cheap. I think that, well, back in the day when I got these were 50p each, I think. Um, and they're a nice card to have in a green deck. But now we'll start on the creatures. We have Turn Timber Basilisk. Death Touch, Landfall, Bish Bash Bosh. Lovely card again. That's one of my babies, I'll leave that till the end. Um, Bloat Mamba. So I'm looking at this deck. And I've had more of some cards, but this is an infect and regen. Fantastic. Fantastic. I thought I had four of these in this deck, but I've only got one. It's good doing these videos because it makes me realise what I've actually got. Uh, Merry Cat Warrior. Um, first Strike Forest Walk Vigilance. Fantastic against Green Deck. Uh, can't even pronounce that, but it's a Hydra. It's alright. I may. Take it and replace it with something else. Since I've been looking through my deck. Um, now these were expensive. Uh, well, I'll say it's not like 15 quid expensive, but I think there was about £5 each. Troll Ascetic. Brilliant card. Three of them. <laughs> That's another one of my babies. Uh, Civic Wayfinder. Hence why I've only got two naturalizers in my deck. Because that is basically one and a creature. Um, four of these bad boys, mana sources, some elves. Uh, Garrox champion, two of them. For two, you know, a free two creature and it's got trample. Absolutely fantastic. Living Hive. This is one of my original cards. Um, I remember this because it was in my original deck 
and uh, I think Big Man actually bought one after seeing this. Fantastic card. Very rarely use it though. I'll leave them, I'll leave them. Uh, Garrox Horde. Again, another nice card, 7-7. Seven, seven. Seven to cast, and it has um, abilities as well. It's fantastic. Um, could gel troll, another regen creature. Gotta have regen. Gotta have regen. Uh, Thrun, the last troll, legendary creature. I was actually going to buy more of these, and then I realised it was a legendary creature. Because as we all know, it can only be one of these bad boys on the field at once. Uh, Siren of the Wild. Really good if you've got shed loads of creatures on the field. Uh, Viridian Shaman, that other elf that I told you wasn't a naturalized. This is. That other one gives me mana, I think. <laughs> this is probably one of my favourite cards. Uh, it's the only flyer in my deck. Skyrib Sprites. 1 1. Look at that little beauty flying. That's it. The only flyer in my deck, but he's fantastic. I love that card. Uh, leave them again. River Bower. Again, another regen creature. And Grazing Gladeheart. Brilliant. Landfall. Wish I had more of these. Um, basically, whenever land comes into the field, you gain... Is it two life? Two life. Right. Next, we're going to move on to my babies. These are like um, my favourite cards in the deck. Roxes. I did have four of these bad boys in my deck originally. Um, I've took two out. A bit gutted. But fantastic card. Both shiny. I have got two more variants as well. But I think uh, this one, or one of them, come from a start deck. And another one I paid 50p for on eBay years ago. Fantastic card. Oh, let's get rid of these. Primal Crocs again. You've got a green deck. You need these bad boys in. Fantastic. These The parent toughness on these can go... Ph pardon me, phenomenal. You know, it's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 to cast. It's already 6-6. Six, six. You add another one on, they're both 12-12. Twelve, twelve. You add another one on, they're both 18-18. Eighteen, eighteen. So on and so on. Fantastic. Primeval Titan. I think I got this from. I can't remember. Was it a booster pack? I think M12 must be. Must have been a booster pack. It's an absolutely fantastic card to get my mana source in. Um, yeah, brilliant. Ah, oh. now these five. I thought I had four of these. A bit gutted. I've only got three. These are my babies. I'll leave these to last because this is the winning cards for this deck, which is why I've got Defense of the Heart in. Um, but these three, I um, I think my first one was from the Magic the Gathering game for the Xbox. You got a free promotional card, um, the last one. And I, I played it on the game, it's so fantastic. I actually bought two more off eBay. It is Prim Primordial Hydra. For all of those who play the game, the latest one, they will know how powerful this bad boy can get if it's not destroyed. I've had this up to uh, 9,999 attack points and defence on the Xbox and you can't go any higher than that. I think in real life it's been up to like 100 and it's got trample. So you know, you attack one guy with one of these, they're dead. Fantastic card, love that card. Probably I'd say... Top two, at the, yeah. So if I had to do top five of this deck, this would be my top two. Yeah, these bad boys. When I bought these, again, this was from was it the first Magic the Gathering game they did on the Xbox? Um, I bought these at the right time. I think I got both of these for five pound. I have looked on eBay and well, not recently, but a while ago, because I wanted to get a few more, and they were actually going between fifteen and twenty quid. Yeah. Vigor. Now again, for all those who know who play the game on the Xbox, the original game, know how powerful these are and how important they are in my green deck. Um, 
It basically just makes every creature, if you've got both of them on the field, bang bang, it makes every creature indestructible and whatever blocks it, you get the attack and defence points onto your creature. Oh, I love this card, hence why I've got a flying creature in there, because I can just keep on blocking with my flyer and it's just going to bump it up. So that's it, love these cards, top one. Probably because they're one of my most expensive cards. I am. Ooh, right, ten minutes long, bloody hell. Um, so yeah, let me know. What you, well, don't let me know what you think. Well, you can do. Let me know what you think of your green deck. I'm not going to change it because it's absolutely fantastic. There's a few tweaks I might do, but I need the dollar to get the more expensive cards. Um, yeah, fantastic. Love that green deck. That's my baby, along with my sliver deck. That's my second favourite, I should think. Right, speak to you soon guys, I've still got my volume 6 of Walking Dead to be uploaded, the video's done, and you might think, bloody hell, he's grown a lot of facial hair in that video. I did it last week. Right, speak to you soon guys, bye-bye. Oh, still recording, bye-bye.